Hi! In this video I will be showing you how I painted my Word Better's Chaos Space Marines. Uh, these are fantastic models that are packed with detail and I'm super happy how they all turned out. Well, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get the painting started. I first started by priming the model using Lead Belcher Spray from Games Workshop. Then I used Corn Red to fill out the panels of the armor. Just take your time with each panel and don't worry if you make any mistakes because you can correct them later. Just keep a pot of lead belcher in case you make a mistake. After that, I used Abaddon Black to base coat all of the black parts. It was things like the shoulder pads, the bolt gun casing, the joints in between the armor, and some of the cables that are spread out all around the armor. After I base coated all of the black, I used Nagar at night to base coat all of the cloth parts. After the cloth was base coated, I used Raidbone to base coat all of the leather parts. Then to finish up the base coats, I used Retributor Armor for the gold details around the model. I kept it to things like shoulder pad decoration, bolter decoration, and any stars of chaos. You can look at the box art to help you pick out which details to paint with this color. Now for the shades, I first started by using Null Noil all over the silver while at the same time doing a recess shade on the red parts. Doing a recess shade will be much easier thanks to the way the trim is modeled, just take your time and keep an eye for any parts you may have missed. I then used Agrax Earthshade all over the gold parts. I would normally use Reikland Flesh Shade, but since I wanted this to be a sort of dirty gold, I decided to go for Agrax Earthshade. Then I used Druki Violet all over the cloth parts. Then I went back to no Noil and used it selectively to shade the very deepest recesses of the cloth. After that, I used Snakebite Leather Contrast Paint and painted it all over the parts we previously painted with Raidbone. And with that we have most of the armor base coated and shaded and it's time to start with the edge highlights. I first started by using Wasdaka Red to edge highlight the armor.
Now with the red highlighted, I used Liberator Gold and Edge highlighted all of the gold parts. After that, I use Stormhold Silver to edge highlight all of the silver and also give an extreme edge highlight to all of the gold. Now for the black, I use downstone to edge highlight all of it. Don't forget to also highlight all of the cables that are around the model. Now for the leather, I created a 1 to 1 mix of scrap brown and dorn yellow and used it to edge highlight all of the leather. Now for the purple cloth, I use Xerius purple and layer it all over the cloth, avoiding the recesses where the shade settles. Then I use Jean Steeler Purple to edge highlight all of the cloth. Now for the bone parts, I use Straight Bone to base coat all of it. Remember to keep an eye out for any little teeth or skulls that are scattered around the model. Then I use skeleton horde all over the great bone parts. Then after the Skeleton Horde dried, I used Agrax Earthshade for different purposes. I first used it to darken the ends of some of the horns and also where I felt like the bone needed more shade. For example, the very bottom of the teats and the recesses on the horns. Now to finish off the bone, I use Screaming Skull to edge highlight all of it. With that, the bone is complete, and now it's time to paint the eyes. I started by painting the eye lenses with a pure white. I 
After that, I used Tesseract Glow and painted it all over the lenses. Be careful not to have too much of this paint on your brush as it can easily overflow and spill out of the lenses. After the Tesseract Glow dried, I used Caliban Green and thinned it down more than I usually would. Then I painted a bit of this color in the recess under the eye lens. Now to finish off the eye lenses, I used uh, pure white and painted it over the raised part of the lens. With the eyes finished, the only thing left to do is paint any other details that are unique to a single model, and you can paint those however you want. For example, only this model had a top knot, which I base coated with Incubi Darkness. Then I shaded it with Null Noil. Let's highlight it with Cabalite Green. And finally painted the tips with Seberite Green. After you finish off these minimal details, the model is pretty much finished. I decided to paint some squiggly lines with pure white over some panels of the armor, but you can skip this step if you want. Here are all of the finished models. I absolutely love how they all turned out, and I really really hope you like them as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and please leave a thumbs up if you found this tutorial helpful, and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. Goodbye!